Hello and welcome to My Stock Tutorials with Shane. In this video, we will be covering suppliers. If you on My Stock, you go and navigate to your settings, suppliers, and then you'll be brought to the page where that has the list of all your suppliers. On the left, you'll have your supplier names, contact persons if you have any, email addresses of the suppliers, tax reference numbers, and credit limits. To create a new supplier, you go to the top right and you fill out all the information you require for your new supplier and you hit save. Once you hit save, you'll get a little pop-up that says save successful and your new supplier will be listed in the list of suppliers. If you're an existing client of Tall Order and you have all your suppliers on your back office, once you've switched over to MyStock, they will automatically appear on MyStock. So let's take a look at these suppliers. As you can see, they have got tax reference numbers apart from one. So what exactly does a tax reference number mean? Well, simply a tax reference number means that when you are placing a purchase order on a supplier, so example, we are placing a purchase order on this beer supplier, that means that when they have a tax reference number, the tax is excluded from the unit price. So if it's 15%, that means that the quantity of the products that are in purchased, there will be a excluded VAT total for that particular product. If they do not have a supplier reference, tax reference, then that means that the tax is automatically included in the unit price. So let's have a quick look at what I mean. If I go to my purchase orders, and I have a look at one of these placed purchase orders. I have placed this on my spirits supplier. As you can see, they have a tax reference number here. And that means that this is a tax that is exclusive of the unit price. If this supplier, for example, did not have a tax reference, that means that the tax on the quantity of 10 would be already included in the unit price. And that is simply suppliers.